try to ask uh, the very awkward question, um, what is to be done? And uh, who the hell is going to do it? Uh, right now, I don't see ourselves in a revolutionary situation. And I think uh, part of the issue in this conference is to try to talk about uh, the different social formations that exist and how those different social formations might be entrained into uh, political activism so that the traditional answer as to who the hell is going to do it is the proletariat. But I see over on the board there that the proletariat is now being supplemented or substituted by the precariat. Uh, and I'm not quite sure who the precariat is any more than I'm really ever was sure what the proletariat was. Struggle, I think, class struggle uh, in and around the urban is as important as class struggle in and around the factory. There are different locuses of struggle. Uh, they have a different dynamic, uh, but they need, in fact, to be unified. And I'm more and more impressed by the way in which, uh, it's how difficult it seems to have been for the left uh, to recognize the unity within that difference. First off, we need, I think, a real thoroughgoing account of where the crisis came from and how it evolved. And in many ways, I think the roots of this particular crisis uh, arose in what happened in the 1970s and the way in which the crisis of the 1970s are resolved. And one of the theses that I'd like to suggest to you is that capitalism never overcomes its crisis tendencies it simply moves them around so that you go from one kind of crisis to another kind of crisis over time. If we are in a Keynesian moment, then is there a version of Keynesianism which is a left version? That is, that can redirect in such a way as to push the whole of the economy much more towards eventually a socialist style solution. Margaret Thatcher always said that what she was really trying to do was not simply change the economy, she wanted to change the soul of the people. And, damn it, she kind of succeeded. If we're not in a real revolutionary moment, then what is to be done? In what directions are we going to push the Keynesianism the opportunistic, class-based Keynesianism that we're now getting. In other words, the issue to me is not whether you reject Keynesianism altogether. It seems to me the only option we have is to ask, what kind of Keynesianism should it be? The question of what is to be done and who is going to, be, who is going to do it are so tightly tied together that only at this point, when we start to think about the who, we recognize that the who doesn't yet have the vision even to push Keynesianism towards a more socialist direction, even to push Keynesianism towards a class perspective different from that which is actually being articulated via the party of Wall Street, via the world's central bankers, via a global capitalist class, that is prepared to crash the system in order to preserve its power. To me, that is, if you like, the nature of this moment. And it's one to which we have to collectively respond. And I think we can't respond in terms of imagining that there is a vanguard of the proletariat or a particular social formation that is going to lead us out of this mess. This is something that's going to have to be built through coalitions, coalitions in the workplace and in the living space, coalitions which stretch across a whole set of differences, but at the same time is able to see what I think we all should be working towards, which is to understand the unity that potentially exists within all that difference. Otherwise, if we can't do that, then the Keynesian mo moment will be used in a different class direction. And that seems to me to be 
where we are headed right now because we have not yet constituted a movement that can prevent it moving in that direction. So that is, if you like, the message I would like to convey. Thanks.